Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a vertical list section in your Squarespace website. I was recently redoing some content on my own website and I wanted to share an image with a title and a description and a button for each individual item. But when I put them in a list section and looked at it horizontally, it was way too much content to read and kind of difficult to understand. So I decided a vertical list section would be a much better design layout. However, I needed to reset it on mobile because otherwise the image would take up way too much space compared to the desktop version. So I created the custom code that I'm about to share with you. Now underneath the video, you'll find the exact code that I'm using in this tutorial, but there are some very specific parts of this code that you're going to need to change. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen and teach you exactly how to use it in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace. I'm gonna hop into edit mode and we'll quickly add a list section. Now they used to be labeled list on the left hand side, but now you'll find them under the people section. Just look for the ones with the little eye indicator. This lets you know this is an auto layout section. Not all of the sections here in people will have that indicator. So make sure that you grab one of these. Now that Squarespace has added the content to our site, I'm gonna hop into edit content and I'm gonna make sure the design that I've selected is the simple list. Here we can see a list of all five items displayed on our screen. Now we can narrow this down to show one at a time, but the image is at the top, then we have the text, then we have the button, and I don't like this particular layout. Hopping into size and space, and if we scroll up here, we can change the media width to small and have it centered so the image isn't as big, but as you can see, it still doesn't look that great for a lot of content. So we're going to add some custom code to fix this. I'm going to select save and exit, and we're going to navigate to pages, website tools, custom CSS. Now there's a lot of code here, but don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. Let me zoom in on my screen here a little bit. Now the first part of this code is what identifies the tablet and desktop version. This code will only apply to any screen that's larger than 641 pixels in width. What we've done here is we've turned the list item content to display in a row. So now it has the image on the left and the content on the right. Then we added a little bit of space between the image and the content. I'll go ahead and select save because I want our code to save and I'm gonna hop into edit mode to show you how we can adjust the alignment here. Right now this image is a full focus and the content's on the side. I don't like that layout very much. So I'm gonna select edit content and under the design tab, we're gonna select size and space. I'll go ahead and push this media to the left and I still think it's a little big, so I'm gonna use these three dots to pull it all the way down to much, much smaller. There we go, I like that layout a lot better. Now scrolling down here, the content width is still large, and the space between elements, super customizable, make it small, medium, large, whatever you're comfortable with there. If we navigate back, I want to show you the alignment for the text here. This is where we can change everything to be aligned to the left, which I think will be easier to read. Now hopping into the style tab is where I can change the text size. Clicking these three dots, I can make the item title a lot bigger and we can adjust the other content too until it looks perfect for the layout that we're going for. Now we also have padding listed here. If you wanna reduce the amount of padding on the bottom, use this toggle here to slide that up a little bit. Customize that however you see fit. Now we'll go ahead and select save and exit because we need to take a look at the mobile version now. I'm loving what's happening on the desktop, so let's look at the mobile view by clicking this icon on the top right hand side of the screen. This opens up the mobile preview of our site and we can see things are a lot different here. The image is still small, the title is large, and the button is now much wider and takes up a large portion of the screen. Now let's zoom in on our code over here, taking a look at just the mobile version. This code will only kick in when the screen size is 640 pixels in width or smaller. And here we said inside that list item, I want you to center everything. I want you to make sure that media is in the middle. We set it to margin auto. And then I want you to make sure that we've got a little bit of room between the content and the image and that the button expands to take up almost the full width of the container here. Now, all of this code is super customizable, so if you're not a big fan of this design, hop in here and start editing this content using these selectors. But before we call this tutorial a wrap, I need to teach you about one last super important thing, and that's how to make sure this code only applies to this section, just in case you're using more than one list section on your site. I'm going to click on a Chrome extension, and I'll have a link to this in the description below, 
This is going to display the data section ID. Do you see this right here? This is a unique number assigned to this data section right here on my website. If I copy this number and turn off the extension and I add that to the very beginning of every selector here inside this code, I'm gonna add it there. There are actually six places that I want to add this to make sure this only applies to this individual data section on my site. All right, we've applied that there. We'll go ahead and select save. I'm gonna go back to the desktop view and I'll show you here what happens when we add another section of the same type. We'll select edit. We'll scroll down here to the bottom. I'll say add a section. We'll grab a people section. Let's use the exact same one we grabbed before and notice that those changes had not applied to this section. We'll select save and exit. And you can see that the only section that's getting this unique style is the one we grab the data section ID for. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes that we just used to make this magic happen in Squarespace. Just make sure that you customize them how we did in this tutorial. Underneath this video, you'll also find links to related resources. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, definitely check those out. I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. Thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.